Hello, my friends. I'd like to invite you to take a few moments right now to step into the little understood world of someone who has a traumatic brain injury. While statistics might tell a story, this isn't about numbers. This is about human beings. And someone with, who has a TBI is just like you. They have hopes and dreams and aspirations. And while their capacities were taken away in a shorter amount of time than it will take for you to watch this video, those dreams remain. No one asks for this. If you were to experience a traumatic brain injury, the lens through which you experience the world and yourself is completely altered. And this makes you feel like you're not yourself and you can't even find the self that you have always known. And because the brain is the central control panel for every function of the body, as well as your thoughts, emotions, and personality, it affects every part of you. While every brain injury is different, there are common threads. If you sustained a TBI, it would take tremendous energy to focus, think, or function in even the smallest ways. Some days or moments, the fog is so thick you can't even wake up. Not only is your ability to focus diminished, but your processing speed becomes very slow. So processing a conversation might require tremendous effort to run the words through the molasses in your head and be exhausting. Formulating a reply, you find the words you want are nowhere to be found. Your vision is likely distorted like an inescapable house of mirrors. There may be a loss of peripheral vision affecting balance. Things that were once easy like doing laundry or frying an egg might now need to be broken down into tiny little steps or be lost in a sea of confusion. Someone with a traumatic brain injury is constantly working 10 times harder and only accomplishes a tenth as much. And it can be very frustrating. Processing motion or what you see, hear, or feel can overload the brain like turning on the toaster and the microwave at the same time and blowing a fuse. Because brain fatigue means that your brain has had enough and it will not take any more. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's time for dark and quiet and sleep. And so you spend a lot of time in dark and quiet and sleep, cocooning. And it can be very lonely. Imagine that your inner experience can be so severely altered that every sense with which you experience the world is distorted and surreal on the inside, but no one can tell on the outside. No one can tell that you have dizziness, nauseousness, headaches, double or altered vision, disorientation, problems with word retrieval, comprehension, memory, focus, and attention, and chronic fatigue. And if you had all of these, wouldn't you be anxious and depressed too? Despair and incidence of suicide with people who have TBIs is very high. Now to add to the problem, doctors can't tell either. Axonal tears do not show up on MRIs or CAT scans and cannot be proven without an autopsy upon death. So you might be told that these problems are in your head, which they are, but in a biological sense, not a psychological sense. And that alone can be traumatic. The term traumatic brain injury includes the word traumatic, and most people who have TBIs also have post-traumatic stress disorder. Not only was the incident that caused the TBI traumatic, but most people don't understand that realizing that your brain is not working is terrifying, and living with the subsequent losses of career, relationships, spouses, friends, and recreation as well as errors in judgment every day are all traumatic. How do I know so much about traumatic brain injury? Because I live with one. This is what it looks like. People who live with traumatic brain injuries look just like you or I, but we're using a lot of strategies to do so. Until we reach the point when we have found a cure, what are we as a society supposed to do 
if millions of our population are living with the TBI and you can't tell? Well, there's one simple solution that any one of us can do, and that is to shift our predominant intelligence in our lives from our minds to our hearts. Because you see, our minds judge and analyze and divide, and that's what they do best. And our hearts and our compassion connect and they unify and build bridges that our survival in this world depends upon. So next time you see someone struggling, know that they might be doing their best. There are invisible disabilities. In fact, everyone struggles with something. So by bringing more kindness and compassion to those around you, we make this world a better place for all. And it is all that we who live with traumatic brain injuries ask. Thank you so much for listening and for sharing this message.